G'day mates and welcome back. This is Quirky and I have some stuff and things to show you. Stuff and things, things and stuff. Thingies of the stuffy variety. I worked on this world a little bit in a live stream. So I have things to show you that I have not done in an episode. Ta-da! Brute! The library needed a roof because we were getting mob spawning and snow and all kinds of other horribleness and so I have made a sort of rooftop garden sort of a thing, kind of. This is not my forte, this kind of build, but I think it's turned out alright-ish, kind of, maybe, a bit. <laughs> I just put in some trees and some flowers and some light. I still get a little bit of mob spawning because it's not perfect light coverage, but that's fine. And yeah, a pretty little fountain thing in the center. We can sit and admire the fountain. Very fine, very fine. Very good. I did put some glowstone down there. I think having the four points was too much. I think that looks weird, but just having the center one might be alright. Might come back later and take that out, but, uh, but yes, we have. The fountain was generously donated by Woot Fontaine. And then over this side we have Fountain Sign, generously donated by Rusty Tools. Thank you very much, Rusty Tools, for the suggestions. Very fine. Then the other thing that happened uh, during the live stream, which also involves the library, is down here. And actually, you know what? I'm going to show a clip here, a terrible, terrible quality clip, of what happened during the live stream that caused what I'm about to show you. I totally didn't notice.
Oh, snap. <laughs> good lord, was I excited by finding an Enderman in the library. Oh my goodness. There he is. It's the Enderbrarian. <laughs> The only problem with this is that the bedroom upstairs now cannot be used as a bedroom because this counts as a hostile mob and the bed says no you can't sleep here there's monsters nearby so that kind of sucks but ah I have an enderbrarian that's so cool. Eventually I'd still like to get a villager librarian in here to uh, be his assistant maybe something like that but I just thought oh I have to do it I have to do it there's an enderman in the library I have to do it Anyway, plan for today is to extend this path here. Here we go. I want to extend this path here. I want to take it all the way to the river. Perhaps a little bit further away than I thought it was, but that's okay. I want to extend it all the way down here. I want to have a bridge over the river somehow. I might actually bring the path over a little bit and then cross it over here. Just so I'm not going whoops. Just so I'm not going over this entire bit of water here. I just go over this little bit and so on and so on. And then sort of follow it down into the woods here. And I might even plant a few more trees, maybe. And then sort of back here somewhere, probably here. Yeah, this will work. Probably here, I want to have, like, basically like a witch's house. I want, and I want to put a witch in it, because we all want to see me try and catch a witch, don't we? I did have a witch. I did have a witch back in town in the uh, city hall building, but she despawned despite being named. So I'm going to have to catch yet another witch, so that's going to be fun. But yeah, I just kind of like the idea of having this sort of witch in the woods sort of a thing. Maybe, maybe she used to live in town and the people didn't like her or something, so she's out here, I don't know. But yeah, so I think that could be a, a cool little thing to do, a nice little detail. So let me go and grab some building blocks and quite a lot of slabs. And let's get that going. So I've done the path to here, which is admittedly not much further than what I had before, but what I'd like to start doing is as I put these in as my path, sort of start putting a little bit of this in, as if the path is starting to get sort of worn down a bit and maybe sort of falling into disrepair. I want this, as we go along, to get more and more sort of cobblestone slabs and then maybe even a few wood slabs as if it's been repaired poorly. Um, I want it to look sort of quite disheveled and sort of run down and that. So as if, you know, in the past people had gone to this woman in the woods and now they don't so much anymore as if they're sort of afraid of her, I guess. That's the thinking anyway, so we'll see how that looks as we go along. That's not a sound I was expecting to hear. Oh, hi! Hi there! Oh, we got all the good stuff. We got spiders, we got baby zombies, we got endermen, we got creeper! Oh my good lord. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Ooh, iron. Yummy. Yes, alright, Enderman. I know your cousin is serving his time in the library, but geez. That's getting a bit much there, mate. What? 
That saved you once, but I got you the second time, Creeper. God, I hate bats. Well, hi there, Ravine. I've seen you before. Not from this angle, though. Well then. Progress update. We have path. I've sunk a few of the slabs in just to make it feel a bit more sort of potholed, pockmarked, whatever it is. That's kind of rickety like that. I've got some path uh, blocks, which is something that I've never used. I've never ever used. I used it for the first time up on the roof garden the other day, and now it's kind of like, oh, I want to incorporate it into other things too. So now we've got a bit of path block going on and sort of more sunken blocks and stuff like that. Then we have bridge. Very fine bridge indeed. It's mostly spruce fence with a little bit of oak, again, to lend to sort of that falling into disrepair kind of feeling. I've even left some holes, like it's really falling apart, like, you know, you can fall off into the water any second. Be not careful. Yeah, that's that. And then we have more path. Now this I'm not so sure about. I don't... Mm, I think I might end up changing this a little bit. This is coarse dirt. So that won't get grassed over, it'll stay all looking like that. And then these ones are actually, they're actually grey terracotta. So I'm not fully sure about, mm, it's kind of brown. I'm not sure it works with the path though. The thing I th wanted was the brown concrete powder, but it turns out I didn't actually have any. And it turns out I did actually have some. Ah... Uh... That's the thing I was looking for and I missed it. Oh goshy. Okay, let's um put a little bit of this in somewhere. Just to sort of see how it looks like that. Eh. That's fine. That's fine. It just kind of mixes up the textures a little bit just to give it a bit of, you know, variance. Breaks up the surface a little bit, which is nice. That. Alright. Hey. Oh dear. I don't want a witch yet. Where's my bed? Oh, there. <laughs> I'm not looking for a witch yet. Come on now. No mobs, please. You know how long this has taken me to build? Thank you very much. Go okay, right. So we have path. This bit I haven't disheveled yet, but I'll come back and do that later. I was just trying to get my spacing sort of better, I guess. So then the path comes up here like this, and then this little clearing here is where the witch's house is going to be. I'm thinking sort of little house, maybe a little bit of... I was going to say garden, but it's probably going to be more like weeds out the front. I want it to feel very sort of overgrown and disheveled and that kind of thing, so... That's going to be the plan. So yeah, that's where the witch's house is going to go. Unfortunately, I have run out of time to finish recording this episode today. So if I want to get this episode out today when you're watching it, I have to stop recording now and get editing. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave it there. Finishing off of the house and stuff is going to have to be the next episode. So I will see you then. Cheers. Cheers. <music>